Third and six for Sinceri, alone in the backfield. Caught from behind, and he fumbles it, and Iowa's got it. Dominic Alvis knocked it loose, and Broderick Binns able to get on it. Sinceri to pitch to Graham. He'll try to go to work, and he won't get the first down. Jordan Bernstein, the fifth-year senior with his first career start today, makes the tackle. Rams returns to Sun City. They have a open across midfield. Devin Street, their big play man, and he makes one for the Panthers. Touchdown, Pitt. Splits it. McNutt now wide out to the left. Play action. Marvin wide open at the 44. Jared Holly trying to track him down and makes the tackle. At the 27-yard line, 43 yards on the pickup. 22-yard field goal attempt for Mike Meyer, who is perfect on the season, six for six. Stays perfect, and Iowa they don't get the touchdown they wanted, but they do get on the board and a 10-3 Pittsburgh lead just under nine minutes to go in the first half. The leading rusher in the country right next to him on the left. They'll use him as the decoy and Sun Siri looking to go deep. Passes yeah, short right. and it's intercepted at the one yard line by Micah Hyde. And the deep ball problems for Sun Siri continue. 40 yards well within Myers reach and he missed it. Big stop by Pittsburgh with 31 seconds to go in the half. If they don't make it, I would assume they line up fourth and one and let either go for it or fake kick it. Graham, nowhere to go. He does not make it. Well, it's just not an Auburn game unless it's down to the wire and some Siri his knee down. And now Mike Meyer was perfect coming in today, but he's one for two. This would match a career high from 50 yards. <laughs> Missed it again. Pitts fired up. I was despondent. We've got a one possession game. Pitt needs to get something started right now. Seven penalties, 70 yards today on Iowa. Jones on the reverse looking to throw and wide open for the Pittsburgh touchdown is Sadler. Second and short, second and goal. The fake to Graham, Sincere to the end zone. Carswell with the catch. Turnovers going their way. Vandenberg lofting it for Davis. And he hauls it in. Nice catch. Well, he initially ruled it a catch down the sideline, and Ferentz is livid right in the face of the officials. K1 Williams is their best cover defender. Can we see at some point if he caught that? No, I guess not. On first down, Vandenberg. Another completion inside the 20 to Martin Manley. Looking for Davis. Caught at the five. First and goal, Hawkeyes. On the keeper. No signal yet on the Vandenberg keeper. That's the type of response Iowa needed, both players, fans, and coaches. They've got to get back in this game. They're still down by two possessions, but that's a, st a step in the right direction. It's third and goal 
for the Panthers. Sonsiri bobbled it and has to drop. Kevin Harper got it from 24 yards. Vandenberg looking down the middle and the pass caught out at the 46 yard line by Zach Derby. Vandenberg has McNutt, goes up to make the catch. Down to the Pittsburgh 34. Two to Sammy Watkins, they lead 35-24. They're going to go. Sonsiri on the rollout and the pass incomplete. And the Hawkeyes will take over on downs at their own 36. Marvin McNutt able to get over to the sideline. He'll have to wait a play. Don Shumpert is on to the top of the screen in his stead. Well, on first and 10, Vandenberg to the air. And it's Davis with a catch. Scoots away from a couple of guys. And look at him force his way down to the 25-yard line. Vandenberg from the 25, looking deep, caught for the touchdown. Kivante Martin Manley, 25 yards. This crowd now sounds like they're starting to believe. It all came down to that call reversal on the catch that was ruled an incompletion late in the third quarter. And See, since then, Iowa's been a different team offensively. Vandenberg in great rhythm, throws this great catch and concentration. to Graham, the pump fake, and the sack, Mike Daniels throws him down for the big loss. That's one of those little things, throw the ball away, save the down and distance, be a much more manageable third down as opposed to third and 13. Sonsiri steps up, drops it off to Graham, and he's not going to get there to the 24-yard line, and they'll have to punt it away. Coker out of the backfield. Good open field tackle by Thomas after the short game. Second and eight. Staying with the no huddle. Big second half for James Vandenberg. Touchdowns on their last three possessions. And Marvin McNutt is back on the field, and he's got a catch. Out at the 45, will be a couple shy of the marker, third and short. Unfortunately, Vandenberg is tunneling in on one receiver. He had a tight end down the seam, uncovered last play. On the P.I., another guy was uncovered. But he is throwing very accurately right now. Kaywon Williams, Pittsburgh's leading tackler this season. Is the injured player. Ken O'Keefe told us yesterday his quarterback has to think like a businessman. Always take a profit and you'll never go broke. Taking little pieces of profit to move his team into scoring position. The dive where the mark appears to be enough. First down, Iowa. Buddy Jackson replacing Kaywon Williams at one of the cornerback spots. Vandenberg finds the tight end Derby. He'll pick up about six into pit territory. Second and short. 
Remember, they can settle for a field goal to tie, but I'm sure they want to take the lead in this. They don't want to settle for a field goal. Looking for Dirty. He was held up trying to run his route. Good job by the pit defense. And great idea to throw the ball away. You've got third and four and a half. You don't want to take the sack or wait. Here, time is your enemy and yardage is your enemy. You've got to save time and save distance. Vandenberg now 30 for 47, 377 yards in the air. In this big second half comeback. We're on third and three. By Tagliannetti. Iowa still with its full complement of three timeouts as they continue to roll down the field. Vandenberg inside the 30, the 25, and down to the 22. First down Iowa on a 15-yard scamper. We're watching maturity and poise develop in front of our eyes. That's a great scramble. Get down, get the first down, get down to protect your body and protect the football. With three minutes to go in the third quarter, they were down 24 to three. And then the big turnaround as they look for the end zone. Touchdown! And the Hawkeyes have grabbed the lead. Two things have happened on the field. James Vandenberg is very comfortable. The offensive line now is comfortable picking up the blitzes of Pittsburgh. They're not getting to the quarterback. He's throwing the ball with authority and accuracy. Going a little deeper, and it's picked off. Micah Hyde with his second interception of the day. So all you've got to do is run it down to the final second and snap it, and Vandenberg can either take a knee or play giveaway, take play giveaway with or keep away with it. And just run and down it. Just take a couple steps back, let the clock time expire, cover the ball, and down it. Down in the second half, 24 to 3, and Iowa roaring back in the fourth quarter. They'll elect a third option, which is to call a timeout. But now they, you take a five-yard penalty. Did they take the timeout, or did they call a timeout? Either way, they're still going to do the same thing. They're going to take the ball and snap it. They'll go victory formation. Yeah, victory formation is the favorite, my favorite formation in football as a yeah. coach. It means that you're going to win the game. All you have to do is execute the snap. Yeah, they got the timeout. The yardage marker guy had moved backwards as if there was a penalty, and now the official has instructed him to move back forward. Some handshakes over there on the Iowa sideline. What a comeback today. Vandenberg in the fourth quarter, 14 for 17, 162 yards and three touchdowns. And now we'll take the knee. And the Iowa Hawkeyes... Knock off Pittsburgh, 31 to 27. No panic, but a lot of elation for the Iowa Hawkeyes. They believe, never panic. They did become much more aggressive in terms of throwing the ball, and it paid dividend, dividends for them, not just for James Vandenberg, but in winning this football game today. Iowa with the big fourth quarter comeback, and they knock off Pittsburgh, handing the Panthers their first loss of the season. They did a nice job containing Ray Graham today as well. A shade under 100 with 97 yards. Coming up next is NASCAR Countdown. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Mark Bellotti, I'm Beth Mullins. So long from Iowa City.